today's video as you can see from the title it is going to be another hair review video i'm going to be installing this wig and doing a little bit of my makeup so if you want to see that just stay tuned and if you're new here hey my name is akira janae don't forget to subscribe and join the family before you leave so if you don't already know this is the box that you will get it came wrapped in a little bow the bow did come off when i um took it out the packaging so of course you'll get your wig a set of wig caps a little bitty lace tire is what I call it, a edge brush, a mirror, and the brochure is what you will get. So this is how the wig comes. The wig that they sent me over is a 13 by 4, I believe, lace frontal wig. It does have two combs on the side, a comb in the front and a comb in the back, an adjustable elastic band. You guys know I love my lace tint. I opt for this rather than bleaching the knots just because the lace tint is so much faster. Like you literally spray it on and it dries within about five minutes. And the lace tint does come in about five to six different shades. So I feel like it's easier to achieve your skin tone. Then after I do that and let it dry, I do like to pop the wig on to see how it's fitting, to see if I need to readjust anything, if I need to make it tighter or looser before I glue it down. I like to do that because you don't want to glue it down and literally it's too tight or too loose or you know, whatever the case may be. Then after getting everything situated, I do go in and start plucking. This unit, I didn't want to do too much plucking just because I wanted this to kind of be like a pop on out the box type of wig, if that makes sense. So I did a little bit of plucking. After plucking, I am going to cut this into three pieces. When I am gluing down the lace, I do like to actually cut it into threes because it makes it a lot easier. So I'm just using a little bit of witch hazel and that's not makeup, it's just the um, lace tint. It kind of bleeds off. So it's really important to make sure that that lace tint is dry or it's just going to um, bleed off into your skin. I'm also using the, I think it's the Even New York um, glue. And then I'm using literally just the freaking makeup brush to spread that out. Want to spread it out as flat as possible and don't put your lace down until it is clear or almost clear. And that's what I'm doing here. After pressing the lace down, I like to use the comb to kind of melt it in and get it as flat as possible. Then I like to go in with the Got To Be Glued Free Spray, spray that over it to get the ultimate hold, and then I will tie that down with an elastic band. Yeah. No So moving on to the makeup, I have been getting a lot of requests to do a makeup routine or, you know, how do I do my makeup? So this is going to be like a little fast overview of how I do do my makeup. Um, I may do like an in-depth video a little bit later, but this is a quick little portion since I decided, you know, if I'm going to do my makeup, I might as well just, you know, film it. So I do like to start off with my eyebrows. Um, I am using the Anastasia dip brow pomade if I'm not mistaken in the shade chocolate after carving out my eyebrows I just follow the natural line of my eyebrows I do like to go in with the um, Too Faced Born This Way concealer um, I will have to look and see what shade it's in I just do a lighter shade than my obviously skin complexion probably like two shades lighter honestly and then above my eyebrows I like to use my foundation I feel like using a foundation kind of just gives it a more like realistic look and it doesn't look too clownish to me like when you use concealer on both it's just a little bit too much honestly in my opinion i like to use mac and fenty during the summertime because i do get a tan the mac shade of mine is a little bit darker than fenty i usually use fenty during the winter time but i had to combine them both because i am all of i am out of all of my mac and yeah so normally i would just use mac in the summer and the fenty one in the winter because obviously you know being black or whatever we do get lighter in the winter so
And before I get on my makeup, the glue has dried, so I am going to cut off the excess lace with a eyebrow razor. You know to use this because it gives a more jagged cut and it looks more realistic than using scissors to go across the hairline. After doing that, I will finish up my makeup and put the foundation in those spots where the lace was. Now that all the lace is removed, I am going to brush the hair out. It looks super cute, super natural. I am loving the HD lace. So this side of my hair I was seeing is a little bit more bulky than the other side. So I am going to part this in sections and then use my edge wax to lay that down. And then we're just going to go ahead and hot comb that piece by piece or section by section. Once that's done, I am going to go ahead and finish my makeup. I'm going to use that same Too Faced Born This Way concealer to conceal under my eyes, my nose, and my chin. This is a real techniques brush, I believe. And for my contour, I either use um, Anastasia or I can't even remember what this one was that I just popped up. But I like this brush because it goes out really poofy and then it goes really, really tight. After blending out everything, I like to take that same brush that I use for foundation and kind of go over everything and blend everything together. I learned this little technique from one of my friends. She sprays setting spray on the beauty blender and then she tapped that under her eyes to set her eyes first so that there's no creasing. And then I'm just using a random Revlon highlighting palette and then I go in and highlight. Now it's time for lashes. Um, I actually do sell my own lashes. These aren't one of them. And if you want to check them out, it is Shop AJ Beauty Collection on Instagram. It is tagged in my Instagram bio. My Instagram is underscore Akira with three A's. And I will be launching officially again. Well, I will be launching for the first time next year. And I have something else in store. But, okay, back to the review. <laughs> then I went into the bathroom, um, flat ironed the hair. The hair already comes straight, but, you know, doing all this stuff to the wig, it is going to make little bumps and stuff into the wig. So I did just go over it really quickly with the flat iron. As you can see, super cute, super straight. I was feeling myself. The wig is so cute and so flowy. So, hey y'all, we're at the end of the video. I'm gonna do a little bit of review about the hair. Um, Love Me Hair did send me over their undetectable invisible lace straight 13 by four frontal lace wig. It is in their real HD lace. This is what it will look like when you click on it. So make sure this is what you're seeing. And they did send me over 20 inches. So 20 inches, they have 12 units in stock. It says over 1,700 of these are ordered and they got like 218 reviews. So right now, this exact wig that I have in my hair right now is going for $369.90. It is on sale. And they also, you know, they have Afterpay. They have what used to be called Quad Pay, which is Zip now. And then Kalarna, if I'm pronouncing that right. The hair did come, what did this come? DHL, I believe DHL delivered to me within two days if I'm not mistaken. Love Me Hair with shipping is A1. You're gonna get your wig quick, sis. This wig is 180% density. It said it came pre-plucked. Um, I always, I like to go in and pluck just a little bit. I didn't do too, I didn't do too much plucking this time just because I didn't want too much going on. I kind of wanted it kind of like straight out the box so you can put it on and see how it's gonna be looking. I'm looking for the wig size. It says it's a standard medium, which is 22.5 inches. Some of their wigs fit like perfectly and some are a little bit snug. This one is on their snugger side. <laughs> I'll have to go back to a video and see the different wigs that actually fit me and see what the inches of that is. But this one, it's a little snug. Um, I did, obviously, as you saw you, I did obviously if you guys saw I glued down the front with actual glue but the sides I didn't glue down just because it is you know HD lace so you can't really tell but I couldn't really pull it all the way up where I needed to be because it is on the smaller side granted my hair is not braided under this so if I did have cornrows it may actually fit a little bit better but even then if you know I always wear a little like bun or ponytail in the back and it's never a problem. So this wig, I do feel like it's slightly on the smaller side, but other than that, I really like it. I'm wearing 20 inches, so let me scoop this back a little bit. 
and then show you guys. It's cute. So yeah, I love it. Love Me Here is always really silky and really, really cute. So definitely giving this, since you know, the wig cap is slightly snug, I'm gonna do about a 8.5 out of 10 just because of the wig cap but no shedding um surprisingly i really haven't had one strand of shedding until i did pluck a little bit of the front i just did a middle part you could definitely do a side part with this the tracks start about right here since this is only a 13 by 4 excuse me <laughs> since this is only a 13 by 4 but yeah that's my thoughts on the wig it's super cute i like it yeah don't forget to like this video comment and subscribe and until my next video i will see you lovelies then bye guys